1035 Kiss FM, Showbiz Shelly here with the one and only Kristen Cavallari. Welcome. Oh, you're sweet. Hi. I'm so excited. I love you, Kristen. Thank you. <laughs> I love that. Oh, this is such an honor to have you here. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So, of course, coming back to Chicago, what's the first thing that sort of comes to your mind? Well, I've actually been spending quite a bit of time here yeah. lately just because obviously I'm opening up yeah. on Common James. Um, and I got to tell you, it's been really nice to be back. And Jay's come with me on a few trips. And, you know, this is the city where we met and where we fell in love and where all three of our kids were born. So it's just been nice to be back and kind of, you know, walk down memory lane and relive some of those old days. And it's true or false that you... Because you grew up or had some years in Barrington, is that right? Very true. Yeah, yeah I um, lived there all throughout junior high. My mom still lives there in the same house that I lived okay. in and everything. Yeah, so wow. yeah, it's nice to be back. And so can you sort of take me through, do you remember those days when you first met Jay? And you were, like, oh dating? God, when I was a baby. Um, <laughs> well, I was living in LA and I just remember I would come out here all the time and I met him during preseason of a football season. So our first few months, he was in season. So I would come out here and go to the games, and I'd be, you know, up in the suite with his family and mm -hmm. hanging out with all of his friends and everything. Um, and one of my best girlfriends lives here. Um, and so it was nice that, like, I had my girl, you know, when I was first dating Jay and everything. But we would go out in the city, and we just had the time of our lives. We had so much fun. It's a fun city. It really is. It's yeah. the best. Yeah. And so, yes, like you said, you're opening Uncommon James here, the West Loop. Yeah. yeah. Right in the heart of everything. It, yeah. re it really is. It is. That area has blown up. I mean, Jay and I have been going over there to go eat at like Girl on the Goat and some of those yeah. restaurants for years. But yeah, now all of these retail retailers are coming. I feel like I found the location at the perfect time. Had I waited even two weeks, I don't think I would have found a spot. Really? Because yeah. Of that yeah, because yeah. it is. And everyone, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say who my neighbors are who's coming, but they're really yeah. great brand. Ah, I would hate to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate to be the asshole neighbor that's like blowing everybody's spot. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, but really great brands are coming next to me. <laughs> I'm right across from the Nobu Hotel that's coming. Yeah. And it's just a really exciting time in the West Loop. And even just to be, you know, on the same street as some of these brands is really exciting for me and Uncommon James. It's huge. So 849 West Randolph. Did yeah. You that right? Yeah. yeah. So for those who want to know exactly. And why did you want to do Chicago next? Is it because you have that... Uh, you lived here and did yeah, all that. Yeah. It's just, I have such an emotional tie here. Yeah. You know, I always have and I always will. And so, like I said, I mean, just, you, this is where Jay and I fell in love. My, all of our kids were born. And so for me, it was a no brainer. Um, and any excuse to come back. And my kids love coming here. We brought my kids a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, my mom is still here and my whole family. So I want to, I want to start spending more time here. Yay. Yeah. I love that. And so, um, on Common James, the party collection dropped today. Is that right? <laughs> yesterday, but yeah. Was it yesterday? <laughs> Good okay. timing, you know, with the store opening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so talk about, I mean, you sort of have made this transition from, you know, reality TV to then owning your own business. And now you're killing it with this jewelry line. What has been, what have been some of the challenges with that? Oh man, I mean, it's it's been tough for sure. I've had Uncommon James for about two and a half years and I'm 100% the owner. I mean, I did everything, I'm doing everything myself. I never partnered with a bigger company and, you know, it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done, but it's also extremely challenging. I finally feel like I'm at a pretty good place. I've hired some really key leaders within my company to help me out, but it's a lot of ups and downs. I mean, owning your own business is not for the faint of heart mm -hmm. um, and it's stressful and it's a ton of work but it's worth it you know it's been it's been the best thing I've ever done obviously besides being a mom but professionally it's been a lot of fun and you know joining reality TV again doing very cavalry was um, a way for me to really kind of market Uncommon James um, that's really why I decided to go back to reality TV it? Yeah. yeah it is and I'm, I'm really happy that I made that, that decision because I do feel like it's been really great for brand exposure so I was going to ask you about that because first of all, I love the show, love Thanks. Mary Cavallari. And so did you, so you had some reservations because there's people who say, you know, you might be want to be a little bit careful putting your family on TV and your relationship. So how did you feel about that? Yeah. Well, so our kids are not on it right. and they never will be. Um, that was Absolutely a deal breaker for both Jay and I. Mm -hmm. Jay was nervous about it, and I was nervous to put Jay on camera, you know, because <laughs> he had, well, because he had never done it before, and I was like, he's either going to be really good or really bad. <laughs> There's well, gonna, no happy former. medium. Yeah. He's, amazing. he's amazing, so it all worked out. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I was 
was just nervous to go back. I think because my experience, I was, you know, 17 to 22. And at the time, I only had to worry about myself. But now, you know, I have a husband. I have three little kids. It's like I can't just be out there doing whatever I want anymore. I have to be thinking about my how my actions are going to affect everybody. Um, so I was a little nervous. I am an executive producer, which has been really nice having that security blanket and having some creative control. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I would have gone back had I not had that title and control. Yeah, because we've gotten some things taken out here and there. <laughs> right, you get that little extra layer. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Yeah. So season three, right? When yeah. is it coming back? Do we know? The end of January, but I don't okay. have an exact date. Okay. But yeah, the end of and we do have a Christmas special airing on December fifteenth. Ooh, what's that going to be like? Um, a very merry. What was Cavalieri it? A, a very Christmas? merry Cavalieri. <laughs> um, it's it's cute. It's just a one-off kind of episode, and it's just us decorating for Christmas, and we have a big um, holiday party, and it's just kind of silly and fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, could we talk more? Because here's the thing: I feel like so I try to get my boyfriend to watch so many of my TV shows, like The Bachelor, and This Is Us, and he refuses. But he sat down and we watched your show, yeah, and he's obsessed. And he I loves, know. Do you get that from a lot of people? I do. Like, yeah. I do. Every woman is like, I can never get my husband or my boyfriend yeah. to watch, but because Jay's on it yes. and Jay's so funny too. So yeah, I mean, I love that. I love that couples are able to watch because of Jay. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> was it, did that surprise you? You said a little bit that he was like the breakout star. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it's been so great for both Jay and I that people are now getting to see the real Jay. Obviously, I've always known that he's funny and yeah. he's just this down to earth, you know, goofball. Um, and I really love that he's had such a positive response to it. Yeah. So I think he's happy, too, that he is doing it. Yeah. yeah. And what does he think of the whole thing? Is he just kind of like chill? Goes with it or like... <laughs> he can take it or leave it, to be yeah. honest. You know, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> um, but I, I think secretly he has a little bit of fun with it, but he's, he's not going to cry when the show's over. Got Let's it. put it that way. Okay. <laughs> what about cuts? Is he doing cuts? Do we know? He's not. He's not, he's not doing cuts. The not right shop? now. I know. Oh. Maybe one day. You know, he's really enjoying this retired life of uh, hanging out. <laughs> but I have to tell you, I've been in, I don't know. I've been in a few places this past week where people are like, man, I wish we had Jay Cutler back on the Bears because Aww, he, yeah, because I know they're doing so poorly now. Yeah. So yeah, well, everyone hated him when he was here. So what the hell, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you can't win, you know. I know. So does he miss it here? Is he like, of course. Mm, yeah, no, I mean okay. he loves Chicago, and you know, same with me. It's like we just have such fond memories of Chicago. He's still a Bears fan. My oldest, Camden, is obsessed with the Bears. The oh. Bears will always be our family team. So. So that will never go away. Um, you know, obviously, I think he really misses like the camaraderie of being on a football team, that guy time. Mm. Um, I don't think he misses getting hurt every week. So that's <laughs> nice. I like having him home. The kids like having him home, he you know, like a so great dad, he is. He's yeah. very hands on. And it's especially for my boys. You know, it's just been nice that, that he's around so much more now and he can play football with the boys outside and pick them up from school and all that great stuff. So yeah. it's been good. Yeah. So does he... Uh, does he kind of watch the Bears in secret like uh, no Mitch knows what it's like <laughs> <laughs> no 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 and Jay okay. uh, truly is he has no spite in him whatsoever he yeah. really wants everybody to succeed and do well and like I said I mean we're rooting for the Bears so um, no but I think it's probably nice for him not to be the one being trashed in the newspapers right now <laughs> oh I'm sure he doesn't miss that at all no yeah. and do you see it in your kids do you see any budding entrepreneurs or any budding football players or is it just my oldest team? wants to be a football player who does? Big time. My oldest, oh, Camden. Oldest? Camden yeah. Big time, which oh, makes me a little nervous. Really? Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to tell him no, because I feel like when you tell a kid no, it makes him want to do it more. Yeah. Um, Jay didn't start playing football until he was a little bit older. So I feel like we have a little bit of time. I'm going to try to get him to play, like, you know, baseball, soccer. Looking Maybe something else will pique his interest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. So I feel like you know, myself included, that I watched the show and we sort of see your life and it just seems like you have everything so together. Oh, and God. You have, you know, your <laughs> amazing, yeah, former athlete husband and all these things. What do you struggle with? Is there stuff that you struggle with? That, well, thank you. I mean, that's yeah. sweet. It's, I don't always have it together. Um, yeah, I struggle with just balancing it all sometimes, to be honest. Um, I feel like poor Jay gets the short end of the deal. You know, it's like, 
I feel like I've I've figured out like work and and kids <laughs> and how to balance that. Mm-hmm. And then um, you know, I probably don't make enough time for Jay right now, but he's been really supportive and he gets it. You know, he understands that I'm really following my dream right now and that I have to put in a lot of work right now in order for it to, you know, be a long-term thing. Um, but uh no, I mean I'm definitely exhausted effing tired I don't know if yeah. I can swear or not on this um you can yeah okay great it. I'm fucking tired yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um it's just it can be a lot sometimes um and then it's you know coming home and trying to have all that energy and be present for my kids and really be there with them too it's you know it's a lot but it's all good I'm making it work I'm figuring it out and it's all worth it in the end yeah and I know you kind of covered that on the show a little bit too that you guys have to really put an effort and yeah. time for each other. Yeah. And there was that whole point where you were really busy with things and yeah. trying to have to sort of, for like sure. Puzzle, it is, way, right? Exactly. Yeah. It is like a puzzle. And I think, um, more so than work, I think having three kids is what, um, I don't want to say takes away from the relationship. It just makes it harder to find time for one another, you know, because kids are demanding and it's not like Jay and I can have a conversation when we're eating dinner with our kids. The second Jay and I even try to, the kids are like, hey, get blah, 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 you know, and chiming (laughs) in. So it's impossible. The time that we have for each other is when the kids are in bed and, you know, we're both so tired at the end of the end of of the day. Mm -hmm. So it's just setting aside time for one another. Yeah. And um, with the kids, too, I, I imagine with Halloween coming up, that's got to be fun. Do you yes. know what you're going to Yeah, so do? Camden, um, our oldest, is a skeleton football player. He'll be wearing a Bears <laughs> costume. <laughs> Super random. Jackson is a ninja, and then my daughter, Sailor, is a mermaid. Aww. So I got, like, a skeleton onesie. And, you know, it's, like, anything easy. Yeah. I, I care more about getting the kids ready and making them look good. Yeah. Um, so I got a skeleton onesie, and then Jay will be a ninja with Jackson. Oh, so, cute. Yeah, it'll be cute. Super cute. <laughs> yeah. um, really quick, too, did you watch The Hills, this this most recent? I didn't no. see it, and it's not because I didn't want to. I really, I still want to watch it. I don't watch TV. Okay. Um, and so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that I have no other excuse other than we don't have a TV in our bedroom, and that's the only time I would watch TV. Yeah, so. were you approached to do it? Yeah, I yeah. was. I was, and I just couldn't make it all work with Very Cavalry. Well, yeah. Um, we are trying to maybe swap an episode right now, having Audrina and Heidi come on mine, and then me going and doing an episode Ooh. for The Hills. So we'll see if that works out. That could be really interesting. Yeah, okay. so we're trying to make that happen right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I love that. <laughs> um, and so finally, I mean... You know, you have the store, you have your jewelry, you have your family. I mean, is there anything else that we missed that you want to talk about? That um, gosh, what can I talk about? I mean, I'm working on another cookbook right now, but it won't yes. come out until next fall. So true comfort, all healthy comfort food, which um, I, I turned it in and now I'm in the editing phase, but that'll be out next fall. So nothing yeah. else really at the moment. Because okay. I am, um, I feel, because I love your cookbook too, because I eat super. Like, oh yeah, Little James. I have Little James too, which will be in oh, the store okay, here. Yeah. So ba- um, baby and kid clothing as well. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, but I was going to say, I also eat super healthy, like a freak. And so yeah. my cheating when I sort of cheat on something is like, I don't know, like uh, cookie dough with like maple syrup and like, right. is that what you do or do you yeah, actually? Yeah. I mean, well, <laughs> yes and no. Um. Yes, like for me, so I work out Monday through Friday. Uh, I wake up at 5 a.m. to work out, and I feel like that kind of sets the tone. So during the week, I'm super healthy. And then the weekends, I'll either indulge that way, or if we're traveling or we go out to eat, it's all bets are off and I'll eat whatever. Yeah. Um, so it just kind of depends. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say, too, does, is Jay, is he into the healthy food now? He is, but yeah. um, if I was like, oh, screw all of this. Let's just, you know, eat burgers and pizza every day. He'd be like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really kind of me driving it. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like I have so much to talk about this show because one of the episodes that was so funny was the one where... <laughs> he was hammered and you were trying to get the, dinner to party. the dinner party. If you could have seen the raw footage of that, <laughs> they may, they helped him out. Let's just say that. It was pretty bad. Okay. I was like, I hate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was an interesting night for sure. He was like, I'm never drinking on camera ever again. Oh my God. Yeah, because it, it was hysterical though. It, it was. was so I mean, it was watching it at the time. I was not too happy with him. He was just... Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> he was just pushing my buttons that night. <laughs> well, it is true, too, because I think this is because so, your business has totally taken off. And you said, too, at one point when you guys were dating, you actually broke up, right? Yeah. At one point, because yeah. you were re- really adamant. You want to be able to pursue your own career, yes. right? Yeah. Can you talk about that? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's um, Jay comes from a very traditional family in the sense that 
he wanted me to stay home, (laughs) which is fine and great. It just wasn't me. And so there was a little butting of heads in the beginning of him not wanting me to work. And I was like, but, you know, I mean, you knew who I was when you met me. It wasn't like I was just, you know, not doing anything. Um, And so, yeah, I think in order for him to see how serious I was about some things, I had to end the relationship. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Um, And it was the best thing that's ever happened to us, honestly. Um, Because it woke him up a little bit and it made him see that I wasn't messing around. Yeah. So, yeah, it was the best thing that ever happened. So do you see yourself at any point? Like, I guess, what do you see yourself doing like 10 years from now? What do you want to be doing? You know, for me, really, it's about just um, scaling Uncommon James. I'm putting all of my effort there. And um, I would love to have a couple more stores potentially. But really, it's about the e-com business and just how we can grow that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like sky's the limit. I would love to branch out in a couple other categories. But I don't want to say just what yet. Okay. But yeah, that's all my all my focus is on Uncommon James. And are we going to see a lot of drama with the employees? This next so this I season, like... it's um, not as heavy on my employees. OK, you know, <laughs> the funny thing about a reality show is it's not great for the culture of a company. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Turns out. <Okay. laughs> so um, I worked really hard in between season two and season three to get my company to a really great place. And I was really scared to go back once the camera started rolling. Mm. And so I really limited them to how much they could have with my employees. And it's more about Jay and I and my group of friends. And obviously Uncommon James is still on there and we focus a lot on Little James and that sort of thing. But it's not in the same capacity. It's not girls talking shit about each other. I don't think that's our show. <laughs> Listen, I'm here for it. I love me some housewives. I get it. Yeah. I just don't think that's our show. I think okay. our show is more comedy than anything else. Mm-hmm. And I felt like the employees and then Jay and I were like two different shows and they had no sort of synergy between the two. So um, it's it's more about Jay and I, which I'm pretty sure Jay is what the people want anyway. So I'm going to give the people what they want. I swear. <laughs> like he, I feel like for a while, that was all everybody was talking about here. Yeah. Was Jay is the new star. I know. Very I know. Very Cutler. <laughs> Very Cutler. He's not too happy about the name. <laughs> <laughs> or people will call him Mr. Cavallari. Like if we're at a hotel or something, people will. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I love it. It irks him so much. <laughs> My legal last name is Cutler too, which I don't think anybody really knows. So, I think it, it even pisses him off even more that people call him Mr. Cutler. <laughs> or sorry, Mr. Mr. Cavalry. Cavalry. Yeah, yeah. That's the best. So when you guys come to town, like what are you gonna do while you're in town? Well, um, tonight obviously we're doing a friends and family event at okay. my store. So kind of kicking things off. Mm-hmm. And then um I'm sure we'll be around the, the West Loop, just kind of bouncing all around. And then tomorrow I'm doing a ribbon cutting at the store at nine forty five and then doors open at ten AM. So and we can all go? Yes, awesome. everyone and anyone is welcome. I hope people come out. <laughs> I'm sure they will. I always get nervous yeah. that no one's going to show up. No, I'm sure um, so Jay and I will be there for the first hour, hour and a half, and then we're going to go home. Okay. <laughs> Back to Nashville. So is <laughs> yeah. he going to get hammered without cameras or no? Well, there are cameras. We're filming for the show oh, okay. tonight and tomorrow. So yes, if people come by um, the store tomorrow, they will hopefully sign a release for the show. Got it. To be on the show. Yeah. So you could be on TV. You could be on TV. Yeah. Come on out. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Kristen, anything else? I always love chatting with you. I think so. But yeah, thank you. Of course. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, everybody go to Uncommon James. Let's loop. Yay. Thank you. Thank you.